Hey guys, e Pirate RC here, and I just wanted to give you a quick video and a, and a good tip about the new Avion Smart Speed Controllers for aircraft. This is a 35 amp here, as you can see. I have the 35 amp. I have the, I'm sorry, this is a 30 amp. Um, there's three cell to six cell. I also have a 15 amp. Well, on these speed controllers, something you really, really need to know. If you have the 15 amp, you can set it for, um, actually it's defaulted to five, like 5.2 volts, but for your BEC. But on this one, the 30 amp, the 45 amp, the 60 amp, uh, I guess the 80, the 100, all of them above the 15, you can only set your BEC to six volts or 7.4 volts. So this is very important to know if you plan on going to the smart uh, speed controller because if you put this controller on a plane that won't handle six volts, you're gonna fry your servos. And a guy on RC groups just pointed this out. And luckily, um, I'm okay, cause I've got HS65, as you can see there. They can take six volts, and the Tower Pro 90s that I have on the other two services, they can also take uh, that much voltage. But if you happen to have an airplane with older servos in it or something, you know, that can't take six volts, then you're going to fry them. I'm not quite sure why they made them this way. Um, I was going to purchase a 60 amp for my Mamba 10 that I have on order. It's on the way. Uh, I kind of wanted to make it smart, but I just found out about this yesterday and wanted to let everybody else know about it. So, again, be very careful if you plan on going to the smart speed controllers and your BEC power. Um, now, I guess you could um, do like we used to do and lift uh, the red wire, which in this case, I guess, would be the center wire. Um, I'd have to go look at a normal speed controller. I guess you could do away with the internal BEC and hook a external BEC up. I guess. I guess that would work. Um, if somebody knows, please chime in. Leave me a comment. But just want to let you guys know that. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.